Hey there, it's Andy here and welcome to the Art Lab. Today we're going to take a look at some Anko, which is a Kmart in New Zealand and Australia brand of resin colorants. So this is just some mica powder. Uh, you've got two different packs that they have. So this one here, which kind of has a silver, two different types of gold, a kind of a, call it, I don't know, rose gold more color, and then also this kind of ruby red color. The second pack that they have uh, has more of a pastel color range. So they've got a yellow, green, blue, purple, and pink. And it doesn't actually say on this packet here what the size of these containers are. So this is a three gram mica powder. And when you compare it against this Kmart one, then I would say it's about twice that. So maybe this is sort of six, six or so grams of mica powder. Now I've already used some of this mica powder. If you go and have a look at my last video, so my last video is uh, one where I used a drill and a spherical carving piece to create a pretty awesome burnt artwork with this ruby red powder in it, and it came out pretty well. Quite, quite like the colour that this produced. So what we're going to do today is use a couple of these and that way you can see how they work, how they mix with the resin and we can see what it looks like when it's all cured. So before we get into that, just a quick ask, if you're not a subscriber already, I'd love for you to become one. So if you hit that subscribe button and you can see more videos like this. Not sure the camera will pick that up there. I'll try this other camera and just see if you can sort of see the mica powder there. Uh, it's quite a good consistency. Okay, so I think I'm going to use the silver. That'll be quite good, a bit of an accent on. And I might use two colours out of here. So why don't we go with a green and a yellow and we can see how these go. The first thing I notice is that the mica powder mixes really well with the resin. It doesn't take long and you've got a nice consistent colour. For the testing of this resin pigment, what I'm going to do is two coasters. The first one where I try to have separate colours and the second one where I'm just going to mix them uh, quite randomly to see how the colours mix when they dry. So here we are with coast number one yellow on the outside, green on the inside, and then a center with the silver. Coast number two, as I was saying before, is gonna be a bit random. Let's just throw the color in there, mix it around a little bit, and just see what it turns out like with any separation, or if putting colors on top of each other, how that reacts when it cures. I'm not sure if choosing silver as the accent colour was the right choice here. Uh, it does look really great by itself, but when mixing it across these two bright colours, it doesn't seem to stand out. I did go in with a second round of silver on coaster number two, just to see if I can get that pattern a little bit darker, to then see what it looks like when it's cured. Okay, and now it's time to demould. These have cured up. Now one of the things I didn't do was I didn't go and uh, pop any of the bubbles afterwards. So I've got a few bubbles on this. That's obviously a different thing than testing the colour. But uh, anyway, it looks demold. Alright, so from the top here, obviously you can see those bubbles. Uh, but from a top-down perspective, I've obviously got yellow, bit of a mixing there, and the silver. We flip it over to see what the back looks like. Uh, so there is a bit of blending there. I'm really pleased with the yellow. Green is okay. Uh, silver is quite light. So definitely something that you need to look at 
let's demold number two and this one as you recall was one where we just sort of mixed the colors around and we did a bit of a swirling pattern with that silver on top now the green here we used a lot more green than the previous one and that came out really really good the yellow i'm still really pleased with how this yellow has come out it still keeps its vibrancy when it cures i think we will just actually take these outside and see what they look like in daylight so let's have a look at these in the daylight gives you a really good indication of what they look like so that yellow really pops we're green and now silver and here we go with our silver green and yellow this is what it looks like on the other side and definitely a lot of sparkle and shimmer in these colors and so for the price from Kmart for $7.50 New Zealand for those five colors, which is about equivalent of about $3 US, I would say, then that's a pretty good deal. So I'm not sure if this mica powder is available in Kmart USA, but it's definitely available in Australia and New Zealand. So hopefully you found that review helpful if you're in one of those countries. So as we wrap up, I just really wanted to say a big thank you to everyone for all your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that thumbs up to see more content like this. Until next time, keep creating.